What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. It is just about to click on to 6pm and fuck birthday is right in the heat of it. First thing I want to do is ignore everything and go again and look at the prime icon moments and see what we got new today. Um, Figo, Blanc, Cliver, Yashin. So Yashin is the new icon. In one sense, it's like, well done EA, you finally released a really high rated icon. In another sense, it's a goalkeeper. <laughs> uh, so thanks. Obviously Yashin is amazing. 98 diving, 99 reflexes, 98 positioning, 90 handling. It's a good goalkeeper. I'm not even going to front, but you don't need an icon for it either. That's interesting. Oh, 287s, an 86, an 85, an 84, an 83 in world class. So only two informs needed for Yashin. That's actually not terrible for a 95 rated prime icon moments. I think we're looking at well under a million coins for Yashin. That is that is not terrible. I tell you what. Um, next up, what, have, what else have we got? So we've got the two upgrades, the 80 plus and the 82 to 87. The gold upgrade. Uh, let's go to live. What do we have? So we have FUT14 today, guys. And FUT14 is... Uh, Ibarbo. Interesting. So three leagues, four rare players, 78 rated. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll go to the Calcio A. Uh, it's going to be very easy to do this one. 78 rated with a brick slot is probably closer to 80 rated. Um, I'm going to ignore the right mid and the right back slot for the time being. Do we need rares? Okay, so four rares as well. So we'll pop those guys in there. And then in at left back, we'll take Krishito, another rare taken care of. Uh, CDM, Brozovic, 80 rated and rare. So for the 78 rated squad, we're in a in a relatively good spot. Uh, Baselli can go in, Pellegrini can go in. And then at left mid, just whoever's there really. So we'll pop in Lulic. So that puts us to 73 rated and the chemistry taken care of. And now, of course, in the right back, we could just go for any... Any gold right back, um, preferably untradeable, but I don't know how many untradeables I have. So Piz check untradeable is perfect. That puts us to 76 rated. And then any gold right mid untradeable as well. Bellarabi. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, because of the link with Piz check, Marlos will be the one for us. So as an untradeable, he's probably a little bit overrated uh, from what we need. We're up to a 79, so actually a fair bit overrated and overstated. But they're both untradeable, so they mean nothing to me. We'll likely pack them several times again. And uh, I'm happy that today it didn't take me like 10 minutes to build the, the simplest of SBCs. That was a very, very nice and very, very easy one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we got pre... Wait, am I... Oh, wow, they've done the Yashin upgrade as well. I forgot about that. I want to see the Yashin upgrade uh, and what EA have required because Yashin itself doesn't require... Oh, I think EA might have screwed up. I've, I've got like just a few things on in the background as per usual. I didn't look at Yashin's upgrade path. And I, th I think it's a wild, wild, wild mistake. Not that the, uh, they've got the upgrades right generally. Where is Yashin plus upgrade? So for Yashin himself, you're looking at nine segments... With no icon, 87 rated squad and only two informs. For the Yashin upgrade, you are required Yashin's icon. What am I looking at? An 86, two 85s, an 84 and an 83. Plus an icon instead of two 87s, an 86, an 85, an 84 and 83. So basically... Instead of having 287 rated squads and 185 rated squad, you get 285 rated squads and no 87 rated squads. And you need an inform in the team in the 83 rated squad. The, uh, I don't even care. If you have Lev Yashin's prime goalkeeper, guys, do not do the upgrade. That's absurd. EA have got the upgrades so, so very wrong. You are just better just using that icon in a different SBC that requires an icon and then doing the the 90, the 90 regular Yashin, which is going to be a little bit more expensive excluding the icon, but people had to pay for the icon as well. I don't know if EA remember that. I don't know if they take into consideration the fact that that Yashin card itself would have had some value. And then the, the next thing, oh, we've got Flashback Doombia. Is that it? 
for the live items. I thought we were getting anniversary cards. We get Perisic. That's a foot birthday. I thought, yeah, I thought they were anniversary cards. And this Doombia. Uh, obviously, the league he's in is is a big win. Being in La Liga is fantastic. Five ten is okay. I don't think that's too small. It's not perfect in terms of size for me personally. I, I like strikers to be nice and big, five eleven, six foot minimum. I know it's only one centimeter or inch or whatever, but yeah, uh, medium low work rates is okay. Four star weak foot is very nice. Oh. EA, why you do this to people, man? Pace, brilliant. Dribbling, very good. Shooting, very good. And a sniper chem style on Doombia is actually going to make him a sensational player. Jumping and heading, strength and aggression, great. 70 stamina. <sighs> what's the point? What's, like, honestly, what's... An 86 rated squad? Oh, my God. Let me get on and have a look at his in-game stats with you guys. Let's have a look here. Seydou Dumbia. 87 rated. They already gave him a Futmus card as well. How much stamina does his Futmus card have? 56. My word. Now, the Sniper Chemstar makes him decent. Great pace. Great jumping. Great strength. Good aggression. Positioning, finishing, very good. Shot power, volleys, penalties, very good. Dribbling, composure, reactions are good. Agility and balance are very good. He will feel rapid with a four-star weak foot. I mean, he can't pass. And he has 70 stamina. I don't get it. I just don't... I don't... What harm is giving him 80 stamina? 80 stamina for a striker, specifically with medium-low work rates, is, is absolutely fine. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit bemused as to why EA think an 86, which I think is like what 140, and an 84, which is like 60. So is it, you're looking at 200,000 coins for this card. Let me let let me just keep my judgments reserved because I the, I think this is another flashback card that is grossly grossly overpriced right but what do you guys think about this is this a card that's going to get into your team is this a card that you're going to burn resources on um or or not essentially uh, like are you going to sit there and say do you know what actually yeah I'm, I'm more than happy to get rid of some resources for this or do you sit there and say no this is unacceptable way too expensive uh, no one in their right mind would do this and, and, and so on and so forth. What, what do you guys think? I, w I would genuinely, genuinely love your opinion. Um, so I've got some... Uh, let, me, let me put Ter Stegen in instead of uh, Navas and I think we'll be good with that. I know what you're thinking. Using an 89 rated card, unnecessary. I, I get it. I'm just lazy. That's not even enough. So not really, right? I've got an 86 in here. Yes, I have. Is that enough? No. And then an 86 over an 85. Yes, there we go. So that is it done. For the first segment, um, it is like an 86 rated squad is not cheap. You need 986s and 285s. Now, the general price of 86s, general price, and this isn't taken into consideration chemistry and such. The general price is 20k per 86. So, needing nine of those um, takes you to 180k. Now, I don't think people are going to be doing 986s when you could get an 87 for 30k and it reduces the price dramatically. I do think that this is this is about 150 to 160k actually for for that one squad. Uh, you do get a 50k pack back for it though, so happy days. No walkout for us. Sad days. What do we get? We get some boards. Let's go, guys. Happy days. Goalkeeper. Oh, it's an 83 rated. Go on. That's what that's what we needed. I'd, I, I, I'm struggling to get behind this Doombia, if you haven't figured that out already. And I'm also very, very interested and intrigued to understand what the Yashin price differences are going to be. Because I think it's just going to be flat out cheaper to do Yashin than it is to do Yashin upgrade. We then need an 84 rated squad with one Ivory Coast player. Uh, so if we go to Ivory Coast... Um, is it under Cote d'Ivoire? No, nope, it's actually going to be under Ivory Coast. Fair enough. Sometimes it's under C, you know what I mean? Uh, and what do we have in the club for that? We have Serge Aurier, who's about to go through the roof for price. 
Uh, oh, I've got... I could use Doombia's Futmus card. I've got Eric Bailly's uh, 83 rated, which I'll use as an untradable UCL and relatively close to the, uh, the, the rating session segment, whatever we're going to call it. We're okay with that. So 84s for me primarily uh, here. Hopefully we have enough 84s. Uh, we've got one, two... Three, four, five, six. Um, let's see if we've got any untradeable 84s. I don't think I do have really, do I? Unless they're like special cards or whatever that I don't particularly want to use. Ah, oh, do you know what? We've got Lacazette as an 85. Uh, Kepper as an 84. That's that's already too many. I can get away with some 83s and 82s and stuff. So we'll take some of these untradeables and we'll use them. We're, we're already well in. Yeah, I, I knew we were already well in for the rating there. Um, 84 for an 85. No, 85, but the 84. Damn, is that actually where we're at? I don't have any 83s in, so hey, there we go. I mean, that's where we're at. If that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do. Um, and there you go, one mega pack and the complete the completion of Doombia. I, I, I just, I, I, I like... There, there have been a lot of really good SBCs over the years. Oops, sorry. Apologies for hitting the mic. A lot of really good SBCs over the years. Over this year, should I say. Uh, lots of either very good value cards and lots of cards that aren't exactly good value but are a good card for a, a price. You know, like Vidal at 350k for Vidal. That is a super, super top-end card that is worth your 350k. Is he still worth 350k? Is he still there? Um... Werner, wait, how back? How far back was Vidal? I think he's already expired. Willian's there, Esvine, Blanc. Yeah, so Vidal's expired. So Perisic, another prime example. 360,000 coins for a card that is truly worth 360,000 coins. It's a quality, quality card. End game meta card. Uh, obviously, there will be better instances, but very, very good. Um, and it's not exactly great value for money like Ibrahimovic was or like Falcao's 50k card was or Petr Cech for an, a you know, 90 whatever rated card for, for 50k or whatever. Um, like Michael Bradley's card. Michael Bradley's card was great value for coins. There were so many flashbacks that were great value for coins and there's some cards that aren't great value but aren't bad value. And then there are a lot of cards that are bad value or even worse, terrible value. And in my humble opinion... This Doombia, which is initially coming in at 240k, so probably 220k, that is an absurd price to pay. Now, mostly because massive lack of stamina, only three-star skill moves, doesn't have the best work rate. Like, you, you, could, you could definitely make excuses for certain things. 5'10 for a striker is, is good. Medium-low work rates aren't ideal, but aren't imperative. Four-star weak foot is good. Three-star skill moves isn't terrible but it's not great he can't do la croqueta he can't do scoop turns he can't do uh, a lot of the you know the ball roll chop which is super important the stop and turn which is super important for attackers he, he lacks skill moves his sh pace shooting and dribbling are, are good very well rounded and, and won't be a problem his passing is terrible which will be a problem um as, like even just trying to make passes between your attackers he's he's gonna falter at that point and then he has 70 stamina and I just can't get on board with that, man. I know I did the SBC. That's because on this account, I'm stupid. But I can't, I can't personally get on board with justifying 230,000 coins for that card. I'm, I'm very interested to hear your guys' opinions on it. Um, but for me, that is a big, big no. It is a an absolute crazy priced SBCs. We do get an 84 out of it as well. You get 85k's worth of packs. It's, it's not even like a high enough rated card. It's, it's only like a, a, what is it, an 87 rated card. It's just not, you don't even get like a, if it was a 90 rated card, at least you get like a card that has a value of like 80k or 60k or whatever back as well. But as an 87 rated card, you get a card that has a value of 30,000 coins. And for me, that is just not good enough. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.